The sanctuary echoes with the rich sounds of the pipe organ as one of the premier young people's choir in the state begins to harmonize. And of course, words don't quite capture the scene in the best way. It's one of those things that you've got to hear it for yourself. You've got to experience the warmth and the communion that you can only feel from a live performance, a live performance that we are actually about to learn more. And we are joined here today by Michael Stefanik. He is the Director of Music Ministries with Asbury United Methodist Church. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Sarah, today. very much for having me. So we're all passionate about live music. What is it about that experience that you think draws people in? Well, music is a universal language and um, there's the variety that you can hear in music can reach people in different ways and uh, music is very moving and uplifting and um, I feel especially you know during these uh, challenging times that we've all been through um, it's great to go to live music again and hear such a wonderful group and um, Music can you know, just move us in ways that spoken words sometimes cannot. Yeah. Sure, sure. And there's such a diversity in, in the performance and in the art. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, so um, the, the program coming up is uh, that the Maryland State Boy Choir is going to be performing um, is going to feature a variety of different styles of music from classical music, Bach, Mozart kind of things, and then uh, show tunes and uh, just a wide range of music and, uh, that I think will touch a variety of uh, people. And, uh, um, I just, and music is so just uplifting. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about the Maryland State Boy Choir. So I actually, uh, earlier or later this summer, I got a um, uh, request to consider hosting them at Asbury United Methodist Church for part of their fall tour of the Eastern Shore area. And uh, when I was growing up, I sang in the Green Bay Boy Choir, and we toured. And so when I heard of the opportunity to host another choir, it brought back fond memories, and I jumped on the opportunity right away. So you've got a free concert coming up mm -hmm. with, with different genres, mm -hmm. and maybe a guestic appearance. Yes, um, I'm excited to share that uh, you may see a guest appearance from the Salisbury Children's Choir directed by Alice Wigfield, mm. which is another wonderful, wonderful uh, choir and organization. And um, they are going to be doing some kind of surprise on the program. Mm, like and that's the... all you're going to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like the sound of that. And of course, you know, this is, this is music that's being performed in a church in a sanctuary. In your opinion, how does that make it so much more special? At Asbury, we were so just blessed to have a beautiful space to, to not only worship, but also to have uh, special music programs. And uh, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous sanctuary known for the acoustics, and we have a brilliant pipe organ, probably mm -hmm. one of the largest, I believe, on the Eastern Shore, and a, a wonderful grand piano. And I believe that um, music uh, can really we can use it as an extension to the greater community. So, so we have wonderful resources at Asbury that we love to share with, with the community beyond just worship on Sunday. Yeah. And so many people that have come to Asbury in the years have, have really enjoyed the opportunity and the experience that we have. Okay, so it's free concert gives us the where's and the when's. Mm -hmm. So free concert featuring the Maryland State Boy Choir at Asbury United Methodist Church, 1401 Camden Avenue, here in Salisbury, Maryland, on Saturday, November 19 at 7.30 p.m. Okay. All are welcome. Bring your family and friends. Absolutely. And free. And it's free. It's free. Michael <laughs> Stefanik, thank you so much. And thank good luck so with this. Thank you so very much. It's going to be wonderful.